Let's face it, we live in busy times. Everything is faster than it's ever been. Transportation, communication, life. Stress levels are compounded by the intense need to get everything done right now. We also live in troubled times. Crises around the world beg our attention 24 hours a day, every day. Our military is stretched thin, called to duty half a world away, often more than once. Proud, strong families left at home to hold it all together. We can make a difference. We can make life a little easier for those families left behind. Through licensed and annually inspected child care programs, we can give them a break. It's definitely new to me because when he deployed previously, the kids were either very, very little or they weren't born yet. So um, it's hard because you have to deal with their emotions and your emotions. Your emotions more get put on the back burner and it's harder to take care of different activities like Girl Scout softball when you've got little ones in tow and no husband to help you out. <laughs> it's stressful. I get, I get really, um... I don't know, overwhelmed sometimes. Because when he's gone, it's like I have to handle everything, you know, like cleaning and c taking care of the bills and taking care of like the cars and everything that goes on, any paperwork, anything that goes wrong with like a problem with the bills, I have to take care of and I don't have him. So sometimes it's hard. It's not fun. All the stuff, the little things, you know, like having to fix something in the house or um, if one kid is sick and you need to get him to the doctor, you have to drag the other one along with you all the little errands, um, everything where you could normally rely on somebody else that was there at the house to help, you know, that's gone. We knew that Aaliyah was going to be special needs when um, at four months. And at that point, um, you know, the doctor told us we could make some decisions. And there was no decision for Jose and I to make. Um, that was our first child and we had prayed and prayed for many years to have this baby. So she was our gift. You know, my family really can't understand exactly how it how it works. You know, they assume that I'm sorry. <laughs> they know it's hard because Chuck's gone, and um, but they don't see the day to day with the kids. You know that that he's had to miss Jacob's first year of t-ball and all their birthdays this year. There were a lot of times I would tell the boys, "Just go to your rooms. Go to your rooms. Shut your doors. Find something to do. Mommy needs five minutes, ten minutes. You know, on really rough days." because there is nobody else there. You can't even pick up the phone, you know, to call your husband at work and to say, you know, can you come home 30 minutes early today? Or, you know, just to have that five minute break. It does take a little bit more of a um, preparing yourselves because again, it's a little bit more challenging for her than it is for Jose. We do everything possible to stay connected to him, even though we haven't physically seen him in five and a half months. I had a friend who was getting respite care for an exceptional family member. They get a certain number of hours um, per month. And she mentioned something about a deployed respite care, you know, was going to be happening. And I found a flyer, so I called right away. <laughs> I used the respite care program to take a few minutes to myself and with each child. Um, I like to really connect with each kid and then talk to, talk to them about what they're feeling, what they're doing, what's on their mind because you know when you have three of them, two of them, sometimes one of them during the day-to-day -day regimen, it's hard to really connect with them when you're running through the motions as a single parent. What does this do for your stress levels? It just alleviates. <laughs> it makes it so much more simplistic and they offer X amount of hours for respite. So we do have a person where um, that is willing to take both of them on. You know, we pay them additional monies, but Aaliyah will actually have her respite hours. And it gives us time enough to where my husband and I can just go out to dinner and just take a breather, and knowing that again, they're okay. So it's a wonderful avenue, and I'm sure for the parents that, you know, here the, um, in your area, I'm sure they feel the same. It's real comforting to know that that I don't have to worry about that. That's one less stress on me with all the, the things that are going on that I have to worry about while I'm over there. And uh, 
for like uh, her appointments and stuff, stuff that she can, like, can't take Morgan, it's, it's really good, the, the hourly daycare. So she can just call them and it's last minute. It was fantastic. It was one of those things I didn't know what I was missing. The first two deployments, I didn't use a babysitter. Um, I took the boys with me everywhere I went, unless it was an emergency or somewhere the boys couldn't go. And then I would find a friend to watch the kids. Um, I just didn't do it. I didn't take time to go by myself and get a coffee and walk around the bookstore or, you know, just take two hours to just go do nothing, walk around the mall. And the 16 hours a month was actually, it, it was a lot of time. I mean, I would schedule so I could go get groceries. If I had an appointment to make, I would make it when she was coming. But then I used it just for some alone time, which was just, it made a world of difference to be able to know I had maybe at least four hours a month. <laughs> where I didn't have to be mom. That was really huge. And I, I don't know how I did the two deployments before that, not having that time. You don't always have to worry about uh, what you're gonna do. You know, like, oh, well, what am I gonna do with my daughter? I have to go do this, where am I gonna take her? It's like you have that, I guess, comfort, that backbone to fall back on, so. You got enough stuff to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> it's real comforting to know that they're, they're looking after the military families. And it's not just the, the military member, because it's, it's a family unit. They have, to, they have to worry about what's going on at their home as well and take care of their, their families as well as the soldier. I guess the worry's always there. So moving to a new place when we lived in Arkansas for recruiting duty, trying to find child care, and also worrying about paying them for that child care and worrying. Just, it's just a worry. Now I don't have that worry. So I have had issues in the past with childcare and, you know, how is it all going to work out, the, the logistics of it all when my husband's gone, but um, I haven't had that worry this deployment and it's amazing. It recharges me. I mean, the boys are still, you know, they're six and seven. They still need me for everything. Um, you know, just to have time to say, to, to go away and just to, like I said, not hear mom, mom, mom every three minutes. Um, it made me a better mom to them when I came home. I tell everybody that I know about it because it's such a good program and, and especially to young new moms, first deployment, they've got two or three kids themselves, I can't imagine being there. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a veteran at this, but I still need the help and you know they do too, so I really appreciate it. I've been very blessed, so for any parent out there, special needs or not, I would say please go forward because it only can help your child. She, she likes the songs that she learns because she always sings them at home and then she likes the math and stuff because she always does that too. And just being around kids, her age. I think it was long overdue. I mean, I think it's fantastic. Um, I wish that there were, it was available to more people. I wish that somehow everybody who had a deployed service member could even just get four hours a month, even if it meant everybody didn't get 16. Just something, so that if you had something important where the kids couldn't be with you, or you needed that time, because, I mean, I, I have a lot of friends who are military spouses, and I've seen the stress on everybody, and I know all of us need <laughs> at least just that small amount of time. So I, it's fantastic, I just wish it was more available to everybody across the board.